Hello everyone, this is Dmitry49 with Product Feedback and in this video we'll be comparing the two mechanical gaming keyboards. One will be the SteelSeries 6GV2 mechanical gaming keyboard and this is another one will be the uh, Razer Black Widow. This is the Expert Edition. If you're looking to get individual reviews, we both have them uh, on the Product Feedback channel here. So check them out. There are links in the description. Uh, so let's get ahead right into it and talk about some of the uh, differences. Uh, obviously, one is the appearance, as the Steel Series uh, looks very simple, kind of look, looking like an old school mechanical keyboard. And Razer, they do have some design. They have this kind of a black piano gloss finish, and that's a huge fingerprint magnet. Another thing is that the keys on the 6GV2 are a little bit higher uh, from the body than on the Black Widow, and that is because the key switches here are basically are sitting on top of the body uh, itself versus here where the key switches are slightly submerged into the body of the keyboard. Now obviously aesthetically this is very simple so you only have the uh, regular white LEDs on top uh, on top right uh, versus here we have the nice glowing Razer logo right here and we also get LEDs uh, inside uh, on top of the right uh, hand corner there uh, which kind of peek through and really can't see it during daylight because they're quite dim but in the dark they do stand out and it's something it's a nice addition uh, they obviously do want your uh, other Razer products to fit in with the overall design of this keyboard so if you do have the Ra Razer Mamba or anything like that that has the logo glowing and that has the same color theme this would ju uh, fit just fine. Now SteelSeries did not include a Windows button on the left side, they only have one on the right side. And that is because this button acts like as a function button for the media keys on the top. We have the same type of idea here versus that the function button and the Windows key are switched. So your function is actually on the right side and you control them, you control the media keys on the top for that. One of the advantages of the Razer Black Widow keyboard would be micro buttons, which uh, SteelSeries lacks. And that is a big disadvantage for RPG and strategy gaming. And uh, one of the comments I've noticed that uh, after I did the review for the SteelSeries keyboard is that a lot of people were complaining, not, not the fancy backlighting or anything like that, but the lack of micro buttons on this keyboard, which was a big disadvantage for people, like I said, that do play those type of genres, games that do require you to quickly press buttons uh, for building construction and uh, anything like that. Now one of the main differences between these two keyboards uh, besides aesthetics uh, is the actual performance. Now they are using different types of mechanical switches. Both are MX Cherry, one is black and one is blue. So the blue is actually considered to be for gaming and typing and for the black it is mainly considered for gaming. But I also found it really nice for typing. One common thing about both keyboards is that if you've never used the mechanical keyboard before, if you're just kind of switching from your standard keyboard onto this, you will need time to adjust. Uh, within the first week, both keyboards I did found, uh, I made a lot of uh, errors, uh, spelling errors, typing errors, uh, pressing keys that were not there. And that is just because you are, uh, just the nature of the, the keys uh, and how they feel, and they feel quite unusual, and so you do have to get adjusted to them on both keyboards, not just uh, on the Steel Series or not just on the Razer. Now the mechanical switches on the, on the Steel Series, uh, I actually do prefer more uh, than the Razer Black Widow because the keys here have a much better response uh, feedback. So once you press them, the way they come back, they come back much faster. Versus here, sometimes here the keys when they're uh, when you press them on the way up, they kind of lag, and sometimes that disturbed my. Uh, my gaming environment and also found that I couldn't press the keys as fast as I wanted to uh, like uh, at the beginning of Counter Strike game you know buying all the weapons you have to really press all those uh, 10 buttons within the three seconds and I couldn't do that here uh, with the Black Widow uh, with the Steel series it was uh, very simple uh, because the keys come back very fast and uh, both have a very fast response time of one millisecond and that means that uh, as soon as you apply any pressure on the key here the key would be registered uh, as obviously for the blue mechanical switches they click as they come down so you know exactly when you press them uh, and for these you do not so you kind of have to get adjusted to uh, when uh, how you feel when the key is pressed but within a week or so you'll really you'll really get a hand of it and it won't be a problem 
So let's take a listen how both keyboards sound. Now for the Razer keyboard, you will hear clicking, you will hear uh, the actual key being registered. You have to apply some force uh, before the key clicks and you really have to press it all the way down in order for it to be registered. One more thing to mention is that both keyboards use uh, gold-plated USB uh, connections for the extremely low latencies. But one major advantage of the SteelSeries keyboard is that uh, it comes with this PS2 adapter, uh, which is one of those old school keyboards, uh, keyboard plugins, no, no longer a USB, right? So you can plug in USB here, uh, plug into the back of your motherboard because most motherboards still have these and I think they should uh, continue on with them and I think they will. Uh, but this allows you to use all the keys simultaneously on the keyboard. So this is the best anti-ghosting uh, keyboard in the world. Allows you to press as many keys as you can at one time. Uh, and so if you do not use this with the 6GB2, you can only press six keys at a time. And so the major disadvantage of this Razer keyboard is that while it is a gaming keyboard, it is mechanical. They're going towards a good direction. It has micro keys, backlighting, and all that, but you cannot use more than six keys at once. And so that's uh, that's a disadvantage because you can with this keyboard. Uh, even if you use this plug for this keyboard, it doesn't work because it has to be powered through a USB because I have to have this fancy lighting and everything like that. So uh, I did try it with the PS2 adapter and it didn't work. So now if I would recommend one of the keyboards, uh, I would definitely suggest uh, check out the Steel Series. Uh, but of course that is my own opinion if you do have any other razor uh, peripherals on your desk this would definitely fit in and would definitely work out well and i think if you do have to uh, if you do get this keyboard you'll definitely get adjusted to it and obviously get used to uh, how the keys type and how they feel and yeah, I'm, I'm sure you will be happy with the overall performance uh, of this keyboard this has been Dimitri49 with Product Feedback. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Twitter at Product Feedback. And we also have a website at productfeedback.com.au. Uh, please visit the website where we post uh, reviews, news, and more. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed.